and then they have to cross right off Neither the foul weather nor the threat of nuclear annihilation can keep busloads of tourists away from the demilitarized zone separating North and South Korea. A visit there includes such oddities as a meeting room that literally straddles the border and gazing across the minefields at what's supposed to be a showpiece North Korean village but is actually a sparsely populated facade. The comic elements shouldn't detract from the very real concerns that North Korea's actions evoke outside the peninsula. We are, you see, only uh, a part uh, 850 kilometers away from the North Korean coast, uh, uh, quite well intimidated uh, by the uncertainty of their attempts. South Koreans may be used to Pyongyang's threats. The same can't be said of foreigners thinking of doing business here. It has many economic ramifications and whenever you speak to uh, uh, foreign uh, financial institutions and foreign investors, uh, uh, large foreign uh, multinational firms, uh, whether they are interested in coming to Korea, invest in Korea, uh, then they always raise this question of, and they are very much concerned about this uh, belligerent, uh, the uh, posture taken by North Korea. South Korea's economy is not as heavily dependent on foreign investment as many of its neighbors. Its homegrown industrial powerhouses are now world leaders in sectors such as LCD and semiconductor making shipbuilding and automaking. But it remains heavily dependent on exports and has been hit hard by the global slump, though nowhere near as badly as during the 1997-98 Asian financial crisis. South Korea was among the countries hardest hit by the crisis. Its currency sharply depreciated, many of its largest companies were struggling under heavy debt loads and its banks swamped with non-performing loans. In the end, Korea's government had to turn to the IMF for a bailout. Our companies have learned a lot of lessons from the IMF period. We have sounder financial positions, have lowered the debt ratios, have invested in R&D and in new technologies like green industries. We have a strong degree of competitiveness, which has helped us fight against the current crisis. The authorities have also learned plenty. Unlike last time, when the central bank jacked up interest rates at the prompting of the IMF, the base rate is now at record lows. The government has also intervened in the economy much more forcefully. They've been trying to uh, make Korean firms more competitive, Korean exporters competitive by cutting wages, uh, cutting waste and uh, uh, improving technology, so that uh, they emphasized more on improving competitiveness of the export-oriented industries. The decline of the Korean currency in recent months has made the country's goods more affordable than its competitors. That's helped keep South Korea out of recession so far. And though its economy is expected to contract by around 2% this year, that's a lot better than earlier forecasts, with the outlook for next year promising. Our the potential GDP uh, growth rate uh, is around 4.5 to 5 percent level. So uh, next year's GDP growth is uh, slightly lower than our potential GDP growth rate, but uh, 4 percent GDP growth rate level is very healthy the figure. South Korea is the world's 15th largest economy and GDP per person has tripled since the Asian financial crisis to around $27,000 a year. The current slowdown is undermining some of those gains, but it has also accelerated some positive trends. By boosting the importance of trade ties with other Asian countries, for instance. We are poised to take advantage of uh, any turnaround in the world economy, and especially uh, the China has become our major export, uh, export economy, and China is going to grow by eight or more percent more this year, so that uh, we are uh, counting on our exports to ch ch China. Unlike 12 years ago, South Koreans are hopeful this time that their economy will quickly regain its former pomp. They're also hopeful that this ceremonial changing of the palace guard will be as close as they get 
to seeing a military deployment in their half of the Korean peninsula.